first at 5.30, making Dayton very friendly for unmarried couples. Good evening, I'm Marsha Baumhart. And I'm Holly Samuels. Two News has learned commissioners are ready to consider a domestic registry for both gay and heterosexual couples. Jordan Burgess is live with what city officials say is the purpose behind the registry. Jordan? <clears throat> Right now, some businesses offer benefits to long-term partners, both of the same and opposite sexes. And officials tell me this registry would be something businesses could use as a way to verify a partnership. Now, city commissioners will hear the ordinance for the first time at Wednesday's meeting. Now, basically, couples would have to meet a few qualifications, like being over 18 and sharing a home. They'd then take an oath, and the cost would be $50. Now, there wouldn't be a residency requirement, so people in surrounding areas and even states could sign up. Now, businesses could then use the registry to help determine if a same or opposite sex partner qualifies for benefits. Now, we asked the president of Dayton's Parents, Families, and Friends of Lesbians and Gays group about the registry. She says while the group really wants to see marriage equality for same sex couples, this is a start that could help make the area more welcoming. Hospitals, universities, um, um, tech businesses, they all want to know that they're coming into um, an inclusive community and that they're bringing people into an inclusive community. How much of an issue is it, um, you know, not have... I'm now, city officials stress that registering is optional and that whether businesses use the registry is optional as well. Now, this is just a first reading of the ordinance on Wednesday, so commissioners won't vote on it until next week's meeting at the earliest. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.